What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and these are the type of videos that you never want to make. As a creator, I absolutely dread these kind of videos, but when you cover stories like this one, you always know in the back of your mind that there's a strong possibility that you will arrive at a moment like the moment we're about to arrive at right now. Um... I didn't want to make this video. I wanted to wait for an official announcement, but it seems like there's no need for that at this point. Um, I already see a lot of speculation and misinformation being spread online. I'm sure a lot of you have been told that Quentin Simon has been found. Um, that is not necessarily true. Because Quentin's body, at least at the time of this recording, has not been recovered yet. However, I received information earlier today that Quentin was no longer with us. And I sat on this information for a while that came from my sources, just really just dwelling on it for a moment. And not wanting to report on anything because you don't want to jump the gun and, and put information that out there that is false. However, now the grandmother has come out and spoken on Facebook and she said that her daughter done it and that Quentin Simon is in a landfill, but her daughter blacked out and doesn't remember what happened. Now I know it's easy to assume from that, that Quentin Simon was found but technically his body hasn't been recovered yet. From what I am hearing, the mother admitted to it, but she doesn't, I, I guess she hasn't at least, at least from what we're told, hasn't admitted what happened to Quentin, but apparently admitted that he's at a landfill and that she blacked out and has no recollection of what happened. Um, Billy Joe, the grandma, also just confirmed that the body has not been found yet. They're just waiting on the body to be located, but it's at a landfill. That is all the information that we have right now. We don't know what exactly happened to Quentin. We don't know if it was an accident and she disposed of the body or if she blacked out and did something to Quentin. Maybe she didn't black out at all. I mean, that's just what is being said. So we're going to have to wait for more information to come out. But now at the very least, we have an answer to some of our questions. But now new questions arise. And now that, I mean, I guess we know where Quentin is. They haven't found him yet. But if we're to, we're to believe the mother, I don't think the mother would come out and say she did something like this if she didn't. Then now it's the time to seek justice. Now it's time to make sure that the right people are held accountable. Now, I don't want anyone getting their pitchforks and torches ready to go harass this family or the grandma or anyone like that. I think the wheels of justice are already turning. It may be a slow process, but we're all gonna find out and I believe everyone is gonna get to the bottom of what exactly happened to this child. I can tell you I don't buy the I blacked out nonsense. I do know that there was a stipulation in her child support case. There was this weird little stipulation because she was ordered to pay $150 a month for two of her kids. But there was a weird little stipulation in there. I guess it's maybe an all child. I've never dealt with child support. I'm not a lawyer. But it said that if one of your child's, one of your kids died, you would have to pay $50 less a month. $50 less a month. So she had to pay $150 a month for child support. But if one of the kids tragically died, she would only have to pay $100 for child support. 
Now, I am not saying that it's directly tied into what happened to Quentin, but that paperwork literally went through that morning that he went missing. So I just find that extremely odd. But as of right now, we're going to have to sit and we're going to have to wait um, for more of our questions to be answered. And honestly, I don't even know exactly what to say right now because I'm still processing the emotions of all of this because I felt really close and attached to this case in a way. And, you know, I just need time to process the whole thing as well. And I believe that a lot of you all probably need time to process this information as well. But I mean, I guess at least we, we have one of our questions answered. And I'm hoping that we get justice for little Quentin soon because no child deserves that, you know, let alone to be thrown out in a landfill in the trash like, like a, a, a bag of garbage. That is abs absolutely disgusting. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button and all that good stuff. I'll be back here soon to update you all with any new information.